Hello everybody. Today we will be learning about chapter 5-2, composite argument and linear combination properties. We will be focusing this lesson on linear combination properties. Today we will be looking at this problem. Here is some background information that will help us solve the linear combination. The original equation is where a equals and d equals. Remember, arctan equals the inverse of tan plus 180n. Now that we know this, let's begin to draw our graph. Remember that negative 9 cosine theta is on the x, and negative 3 sine theta is on the y. Now let's start our counting. 0, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And negative 1, 2, 3. Now we can draw our triangle. Remember to label your triangle. Negative 3 and negative 9. The hypotenuse is A and the whole angle measurement is D. Let's take a closer look at our triangle. Now that we have our values, negative 3 and negative 9, we can solve for the equation. Remember, our original equation was b cosine x plus c sine x equals a cosine x minus d, where negative 9 equals b, and negative 3 equals c. So let's solve for a and d. Do we remember what those equations were? If you look to the right, we remember that a equals the square root of b squared plus c squared, and d equals arctan c over b. So when we plug in our values, a equals the square root of negative 9 squared plus negative 3 squared. So, a equals the square root of 90. Good job! Let's solve for d. When we plug in our values, d equals arctan negative 3 over negative 9. So d equals 18.435 degrees. But wait, that's not right. Why is it wrong? Remember, arctan is tangent of negative 1 plus 180n. When do we add 180? If you look back to the graph you had before, you can see that our triangle was in the third quadrant. Therefore, you need to add 180 degrees. And that's why your answer will be 198.435. So our final answer, plugging in A and D, is the square root of 90 cosine x minus 198.435. Thank you.